very good morning to you on this beautiful Wednesday morning how are you all doing do let me in the comments what you up to what you doing how is the weather where you are here is a little bit overcast um, the sun's trying to come through a little bit breezy Ho hopefully it will the sun will break through very soon I really do um, I, I, I do love a sunny day and you can go on a beat in the garden so let me know the weather, how's the weather for you are um i love our little weather update in the morning here that, uh, <laughs> what we usually do so hold on, let me just move this window today we are doing a beautiful bracelet and i came up with some new colors i put some new colors together because i just really love a long long time ago the first i did this um i did it with the peanut beads and then it looked like really good with the peanut beads themselves but just by using the crystals it just made it really much much more sparkly it was really i don't know so sometimes when you you can use crystals like as much as you want and like it doesn't really matter they just look so sparkly they just look like it's it's like the magpie alert today i guess <laughs> they are very very sparkly good morning everybody let me just very quickly say hello and then vegan i'm going to show you on the website and then pop you down to the mat just move this out of the way morning leanne linda charlotte janet janet is saying it's raining in glasgow Oh, don't 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 send the rain down. Just just keep the rain there. We don't don't want the rain at the moment. <laughs> um, Camille is saying damp and chilly in Wiltshire. Morning, everyone. Oh, raining in Perth today. France is saying so maybe the rain is coming this way as well. Morning or cloudy in Midlands. Diane is saying. Um, good morning, Jitty, Shirley, Mina. I mean, I think this one is the bracelet I need to try. Morning, Sheila, Karen, Carol. Says a breezy but dry here in Brixham. Raining in North West, North Wet North Scotland. Angela is saying, "Oh dear, <laughs> what, 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 what's going to happen? I think the rain, the rain is on the way down here, <laughs> so we have to, we have to. I don't know, but if it's raining, it doesn't really matter. It's a perfect day to stay in and do some beading. Good morning, Pamela, Rachel, Lucy, Gwen. Saying a cool, miserable Esther. Um, hello, Kitty, all USA. Pauline is saying, Pauline, let us know how's the weather where you are, lovely." Um, a UK by the sound of it, like all of it is overcast or raining or like um, perfect beating weather. Let's put it that way. Morning, Natalie, Annie, Debbie, Robin. Good morning, Adelina, Sue, Thea, Jean, Mina, Camille, Julie. It's raining in Aber Gavanary. <laughs> I was hope I said that right. Um, morning, Bridget, Dorothy's here, Elaine. Cool. A bridge is saying bright, sunny, and windy in Preston. So you never know. Maybe after the rain, there is sunshine. Um, good morning, Victoria. Said morning got some time off, so thought I would catch up with you all. It's been a while. Well, welcome back, Victoria. Right. Okay. So let me show you this beautiful bracelet. What we're going to be making today. And what we did is we you got two colorways in one kit. So you're going to make two bracelets with one quid let's just pop over to the website and then i can show it to you in or write it down on my mat and tell you exactly the same color make note of the colors because you know with me i got all of them laid out here on my little tray you can request like what color we're going to demo of it so going over to the website so by now you know the drill what you need to do you're going to go to totallybeats.co.uk and you're going to go into either categories here on the right hand side at the top and click on video tutorials or you're gonna go and click on this big button here which says video tutorials at 10 a.m. and we got hundreds and hundreds of different tutorials you can search the tutorials by technique by date by, by kind um, by bead as well so I'm just gonna pop into the bead here and if you can see here we got like all the projects together with like crystal beads let's just click on that one and pop in there very very quickly and then you see we've done loads and loads of different one all the way back last year and there's um, when I'm saying loads they are really really loads of them now this is the, the hourglass bracelet it was called which is very similar technique well the same technique what we're doing today very similar look 
but um, but it, but because we're using the hourglass beads more, I, I guess like unisex, and with the sparkling crystals that we're going to be using today, it's more um, it's it's more I, I guess female for for crystals. But you never know. Do let me know. Um, what do you think? Right, I'm coming back out of this one. And I'm going to write to the top. And here we're going to crystal barrel jewelry today. I'm going to go into this. Right. Now, Simon has put a 15% discount on them. Don't forget, a kit makes two bracelets, not just one. So we got amber, we got blue. And the blue is like, it's got two colorways within it. I'm going to show you just in a second. Um, we got champagne, we got crystal pink, <laughs> this is nice stock, so you, you must have been really quick this morning. Uh, we got green, we got purple, we got sapphire blue and we got rainbow green. Right, okay, I'm going to come back and we're going to go right down to the mat. And we can have a look at them in real life. So going down on the table, there we go. So I got loads and loads of them here. So these, these, this one we had before. This is the one is the crystal pink, which it says out of stock on our website. So Simon, if you're listening, can you please check this out? Oh, I got myself upside down. Oh no, 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 not that one I want upside down. That's that's the right way around. This is the one I want. There we go. There we go. We're right, right, right way now. We're, we're, not, we're not upside down. So this is one, Simon, if you're listening, can you please check out? Or Lucy, can you just text Simon that um, it's out of stock? Just go and check if you got any more. But you might have been quick and they've already gone. Beautiful, the crystal and the and, uh, pink color white. So I'm just going to pop this. I'm just going to pop this on this side. So it's not. And I'm going to zoom in more. So I can show you even better. Right, another color white. This is the blue. Now the blue has got purple in there as well. This is like a darker color white. Um, using sort of darker seed beads, the blue crystals, and then you got the purple plated crystals as well. We're using with um, this beautiful crystals themselves. I really do, I really do love this color white. It will goes with a lot of things. Very sort of an evening look, gives you a very, very evening look. So don't forget, each bracelet will make you, but well, each kit will make you two bracelets. However, it's about seven and a half inches they make. If you want to make extra bracelets, you're gonna have barrel beads left over in the options itself. That if when you when you're buying the kit, there's a little a little thing at the bottom where you can add thread and needle for one pound fifty or I can add an extra crystal rondel which is a crystal rondel is the little crystal which is just sort of decorated at the bottom of the barrels and I will show you just when we start the, the demo the how um, it's really easy to make um, add an extra string of that and an extra bottom because you're going to be able to make more than more than two bracelets than if you add an extra Rondo and you get an extra button with that one as well. So it's worth to do that. Right, okay, so that's our, I'm going to pop them here so then we can do our little snail race down when you tell me, oh, can we still like the pink one? Yeah, and we need to check the, um, if we, what, what, what's happening with the pink, but I'm sure Simon will, Simon will check it just in a sec. Right, okay, so next colorway. I love this one. This one is like your greens and there is a purples and golds in there so this one is called rainbow green so you got the rainbow crystals there and you got the green crystals in there but it's all with the rainbow um crystal rondelles on the side i think it just comes together really really nicely again but actually this one at the moment what i'm wearing it's really really goes with the top i'm just going to quickly show it to you but, and I love rainbow jewelry because, I'll just come back here, look, it really goes with my top this morning, this green one, so I, sh I shall wear this, maybe for the rest of the day, these beautiful, beautiful colours. And there we go, so that, that's, that's the rainbow, rainbow green, I'm going to pop that there as well. And the next one we have is this one. Now, this one is called Champagne. So you have got a little bit sort of a darker colors in here, the bronzy colors, and you have got sort of a lighter color in there. 
I do love the, this colorway because, or is this the amber? Sorry, one second. Yeah, no, the champagne. Yeah, I'm telling you the right one. I just looked at it very quickly on the page and I'm thinking, am I doing the right thing? But yes, so this is the champagne. Again, really nice and brandy colors. And I love this color. It's not really green. It's not really yellow. It's not really beige. It's sort of the in-between color. And so it's, it will go with, it got like a hint of olive. It's got like a hint of like maybe like an ambery color in there. Really, really beautiful color. And there we go. Pauline's saying she loves the rainbow. Pink is back in stock. Lucy's saying Simon sorted there. So I can imagine they were running around the warehouse checking all the bins. <laughs> checking all the bins. Right. Next one is all. So from, from here onwards, they are all new colorways. So let's go on the amber tone again. This the, the sort of a champagne tone. This is amber. So this is amber with black diamond. And you can see like the difference between the two. Oh, sorry. The two colorway. This one is more sort of a cooler tone, and this one is more of a warmer tone um, there. They're both very, very beautiful. This one is called Amber. I really do love this one. Right, the next new colorway, just pop this here, is, oh, I love this one. So this is, they called it green, <laughs> which is, this is not really green at all. This is more like a aqua turquoise color, to be honest. It has got it has got a slightly green hint in the crystals, but the seed beads and the crystals, the, the crystal run does make it more aqua, make it more like a turquoise color. Very I really, really do love it. I suppose like you can say turquoise is green, but um this one for me is more aqua, so it's more of on a blue tone rather than a green tone, but Simon called it green on the website. So this one is called green. Right, next one. And I got a couple more. I love this one. This is the new blue I put together and just double checking sapphire blue. So Simon called this one sapphire blue. This one is a very beautiful colorway as well. You get both of the all of the hits, you get both of the barrel crystal barrel beads in there so you get a darker one and you get a lighter one the seed beads and the crystals are the same but again a very beautiful colorway I this one is like perfect for a summer and then maybe autumn winter time there we go and then next one well last last but not least as they say this is the purple so you got the purple IB crystal rondas here, and then you got this black red, sort of a sight of a plating on the side of it, but it just goes together really, really nicely. Um, Debbie's saying, one of your USBs, I think you designed this with a reverse shape barrel, wider at the ends and skinnier in the middle bits. Yes, absolutely. That's that's when the original idea came from. I did, did mention it earlier. The, the barrel beads, I haven't got any, I don't think I got any at home, but they they are beautiful. That's if you do it with the barrel beads themselves, they are more of a unisex make. If you do it with the crystals, I think then that's more of a, a sparkly make. Let's let's not like say that this is just a female make, but more of a sparkly make. If you make it this one, the hourglass beads or a peanut beads. So the peanut beads, like there's two different, they both have got that sort of figure of eight shape. But the peanuts are drilled in the middle and the hourglass is drilled from one side to another. So the little quite kind of like bumps you go into it and um, they, they, they are really perfect too. Right. Now, I want you to let me know in the comments which one you want me to demo with. So we can do a little and I'm going to zoom out slightly so we can do a little bit of a snail race down in my mat here. And we can find out which one we're going to demo with. Right, and I'm just going to quickly check back if you had any questions. Um, Kimi Singh made one of this last year, but made it too small for me. So my sister has it. Have to make another one for me. Absolutely. So when I'm, I'm going to talk you through this when I, I'm going to show you how to make it. But as you're making it, it can get a little bit smaller at the end. Um, Lona Singh, good morning. A bit late today, but these look lovely. Lovely color to choose from. Oh, you know me. I had to do new colors. I really had to do new colors. And Lucy just said the pink is back in stock. Beautiful color eyes, Victor is saying. Good morning, Kitty, and all the rainbow jewelry. 
love the black diamond very elegant joe's saying oh i love that one as well it's like like i'm working with one color i'm saying oh that's my favorite and i'm start to work with another one that's my favorite right okay so colors and he's saying pink so oh, we need to put the pink back because the pink is back in the race so pinks let's bring the pink down um lucy's saying um oh that was the hourglass one saying green the green is beautiful which is actually not really green more of a turquoise but we call it green pink is back in stock Camille is saying sapphire yeah i love the sapphire sapphire i love all colors Millie's saying Millie, you have to choose a color you can't have like all the colors but i can't but i could actually sit here all day and make with you um sapphire carol is saying oh champagne please Champagne is that one. Purple. That purple is here. Or oh, the champagne, like we need to like sort the one come there. This is I'm, I'm just just behind me. It's just behind me, but it's there. Rainbow, rainbow green. And there we go. So it's that one. Gwen is saying blue. So the blue is kind of like one. Like no, sorry, blue. This that's not blue. That's sapphire. My mistake. This is the blue. So blue's coming down. <laughs> Sapphire, please. Rainbow green. Another one for rainbow green. Another one for Sapphire. Another one for rainbow green. Sapphire, please. I think Sapphire is going to go off the chart. Champagne. The last one you showed us, Gemma Sings. The last one I showed you was the purple, which is this one. Sheila's saying purple. Purple is doing the comeback. Make a multicolor one. Oh yes, that's an idea. We could do that as well. We could use like because you get two different barrels in one kit. You could we could you do like a pattern as well. Rainbow green. So that's coming down. Sapphire one. I'm just looking at now which one is going to be rainbow green. So sapphire is first. Rainbow green is the second. Which is saying silver. I haven't got silver. I got, I got <laughs> that's the pink, which is come um, crystal pink. So one of them is the crystal variation. The other one is the pink. Right, Sapphire, so it is a den. That's what we're going to demo with. Let me just move these other beauties out of the way. Just for the stack. And I get my beads out for you. They're beautiful. I really do love this. Now, there is a couple of different ways how you can make the bracelets as well. Because you can make. And what you get in your kit, you get two strands of these barrel beads. You get two of the little buttons and then you get your crystals as well the little rondelles actually i'm gonna use up those because i already started that packet when i was making up the samples so let me take a sip of my coffee and then we get started do let me know in the comments if you made this one before definitely one of the magpie makes we did Definitely one of the magpies makes me like so. I'm gonna get started and zoom in. So, <laughs> lighter or darker color, but I'm gonna do the darker color. But I think it's gonna that's gonna show up nicer. Or shall, shall we put it to a vote? Do you want to make lighter or darker color? Do let me know. I do love both of them. The darker might show up better, but the light one is so nice as well. So do let me know what which one would you like me to demo with and I'm going to show you another trick how to make your materials further um, with, the, with the make. And Lucy's saying they all look nice, really nice colours. They're just so darkly. Um, Lynn is saying dark, Elaine is saying mix. We could do that as well. Um, shall we mix it? Yeah, why not? Let's Let's mix it. I'm going to pop these to the side. I'm going to use this up. So this is what left. And I make my bracelets like longer. So they like, they just over, so I guess with a loop like this, sort of eight, eight inches. And I still have almost half the barrel beads left. So this is, this is what left after making this bracelet. And that, that's a full strand. So just under half a strand um, left with, um, so this is why I said if you add extra crystals in your basket when you're buying them at the bottom and if Simon we make sure that we get an like extra button in there as well then you can make one this color one this color and one mixed color 
from one kit if you had the extra ones in there. Erasing dark, mix mix the two together. Camille is saying, mix it up. Joe is saying, Sheila said, dark please. Alternate colors, mix it up. Dark, well, let's watch start out darker, darker mix. So we got we got we got a very mixed opinion on the mix here. <laughs> Today I think I made this black. It is so sparkled, bad trouble with the barrel staying straight. Had to redo and adjust my tension to keep the barrel sitting straight. Yeah, absolutely. So with um, technique like this, your tension is absolutely key. But the barrel beads have got quite a larger holes on them. So if you are like a little bit looser beader, then you just go through your, like weave your thread through one more time, the length of the bracelet. Oh, Alicia's here. Hi, Alicia. Right, okay, so I'm just going to grab my thread. What did I do with my thread? Hold on. I'm going to read this out. So I need sort of a silvery blue colour. And I have got this one. And that's the one I want, which is right down at the bottom, that one. There we go. I'm gonna grab a needle and very quickly. How many one bracelet for one barrels? Seven by four millimeter under. Yes, they are. Um, I think I got forty eight on mine. There we go. Very quickly, I'm quite amazed with myself. <laughs> uh, I it's always the hardest thing. Like threading a needle when nobody's watching, it's not a problem. And somebody's watching, it's always <laughs> the hardest, hardest thing to do. Right, I'm gonna zoom in and we're gonna get started. So if you want to mix your color, like there is I, I like to leave the bobbin on. I start on one end, work the way myself down to the other end, and I always no actually I usually start this end, work my work myself down to this end, add the clasp on, and then I'm gonna come up and add the decoration on one side. I'm gonna add the loop on the end for the clasp and then run up on the other side. Now it's really crucial to add the bottom first and not the loop because you want to be able to adjust the loop. So the magic number is 18. <laughs> See it beats with this one. But um, you know, sometimes you might get a little bit of variation in the seed beads, or you might get your button might be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. Then um, you can always adjust the loop. Um, rather than like trying to find a button to fit the loop what you already put on there. So I'm going to go and I'm going to get started. So if you want to do a multicolor one, I do suggest that you do put your pattern out. Now you could do any sort of pattern you want to do. Um, let's, let's say two on two, two on three, whatever really you, you desire. I, I kind of like the look of if I'm doing a mixed pattern, uh, have maybe one dominant color in the middle for for some time. One, two, three, four, five. Let's say six, seven in the middle, and we're gonna um, we're gonna cheat on this bracelet because I'm gonna show you how to get take make your materials further. So there we go. Let's add another one on either side, and then. I'm going to finish with that one. So there we go. So that's going to be our length of the bracelet. This is what you would be visible on the top part of your bracelet. And then we're going to lengthen it in a different way. So if you want to make more bracelets out of your barrel beads, you could do. So I'm going to go ahead. The first, I only need the seed beads and the barrel beads to start with. And there we go. I'm just going to zoom in right in. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pick up one of these seed beads, I'm going to pick up the barrel bead, I'm going to pick up another seed bead, I'm going to pick up the barrel bead, and oh, I don't need the seed bead. <laughs> finish, start with the seed bead, and then finish with the barrel bead. Let's just zoom in a little bit more with this, and I need to pop myself in the corner here. 
Nope, nope, that doesn't want to do it. That's not my I'm just I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna be like on a wide <laughs> wide one today, no, not a square one. So we're gonna start with that. I'm gonna take this all the way down, and then I'm gonna come through all four of those beads to form a nice little sort of circle. Remember my bobbin is still on there so I can take off more bead, more thread later on if I need to when I'm running up and down. Now because I want a really nice, um, I need to go through this seed bead and the barrel bead to be able to in position to add the next lot of beads but because if you want a really nice and firm start to it, I don't like to knot, I don't recommend to knot your thread and your a tail together because if you do that then you could end up um, as you're knotting them together you could end up um, the knot seeping into either the barrel bead or the crystal bead and you won't be able to go through it anymore so what I like to do and I'm going to get this out of the way and what I like to do is just to run around if I, if I feel my tension is a little bit slipping or a little bit loose just to run around one more time um, if you need it, but you do know, like, you, you will know, like, if, if it's really pulling apart a lot, if you're not able to keep that tension tight, I've wrapped the end around my little finger here, so I know that there is no way that I can travel back up, and I'm holding on to my left hand, I'm holding on to the work. So, as I'm coming out of this lighter colour, I'm going to go and pick up a seed bead, I'm going to pick up my next rondelle and another seed bead, and I'm exiting at the bottom here. I'm going to go through the same barrel bead from the top. And when I pull this up, that necklace is just going to sit there. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through this seed bead and go through that barrel bead. So I'm in position to add the next one. And when I got caught, let's pull this through. Out of the way, there we go. Now, I'm exiting at the top, so what you want to make sure that you don't have thread puffs showing up like that. If that happens, make sure that you are kind of like pulling it up. I When I pull my thread and when I want to make my bracelet tighter, I am never kind of like pull down because when I'm trying to pull down, that's just pulling the bead away from my bracelet. Let me just move, like roll these out. I want to keep the same beads there, so we've got the same pattern there. Just roll them out of the screen a little bit so you can see better. There we go. So when I'm going to pull this tight, I want to pull a sort of back towards my tail and back towards my bracelet, so I'm not pulling this way. I'm taking my thread up and over and I'm pulling backwards towards that seed beads where I want to tighten it and then that tightens it up and it's going to sit nicely and really beautifully together. Then I'm going to go ahead and pick up my next seed bead, my next barrel and another seed bead and I'm going to come through this barrel one more time from the bottom so this time I was exiting at the top and can you see when I am going to pull my needle through I'm going to go ahead this is resting on my middle finger I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to hold on to those beads so as I'm pulling it through there's no way the thread can travel backwards and my tension become looser and I'm only kind of like letting this up when I go to the top and then I pull it up now from here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through that seed bead and the barrel bead to get to the furthest point away from my tail. So I'm in position to add my next bead. And there we go. And I'm just going to go run down and add all these beads every single time. A seed bead, a barrel bead, a seed bead. Can you center your work with I can't see Jody saying? Oh, <laughs> I just moved everything out. Do let me know if you can see it. Okay. I moved everything about. There we go. I had to take the camera down yesterday because I popped into work after everybody's gone home and I was doing like some little videos. And um, when I popped it back last night, I think it's a little bit forward. 
than what usually is. So I will adjust it once we finish the light. Might be coming through and adding the next one on. I'm sure you think I made a few of these last year and they are so quick to work up and so sparkly. Just love them. Absolutely, I love them as well. Carol's saying yes, it's fine now. They're really beautiful bracelets to make. There we go, coming through the top. And just very quickly, we're going to run that. So now i got enough to hold on there. I've got quite a few beads there. I'm going to let the tail go. And I can just go and bead much, much quicker. But still, every single time I'm pulling my thread through, I'm still holding on to those beads what I have there. So I'm not letting the... Can you see as I'm holding on to it? I'm not letting the thread travel backwards. And I do flip my work as well. So I'm always I kind of like beading away from myself from on this point onward. But I do change like to change direction. I think it's really it's like when I get to the top, I would just flip it over and then pick up the next one and go on. But I do like it's really important to change your position when you're doing beading that you are just pull that tighter a little bit that you kind of like move about because I think we're all guilty that the keeping our neck keeping our hand in the same position for hours and hours and hours because let's face it when we start beading <laughs> when I start beading like I don't even realize it and there's two or three hours gone past it's just time, time flies when they're having fun as they say so do kind of like consciously change your position as you go along time to time so sometimes I will flip the bracelets and sometimes I will keep them in just in a same so I'm stitching up and down up and down I'm doing a, a mixture of things right, let me just move these crystals down because I'm worried that I am going to pin them do we need to keep tension tight mean is asking yes absolutely it's like if you keep it loose you can always come back on yourself but I think if you keep your tension right you already have got like a really nice looking bracelet there to start with and if your tension is really really loose well I would suggest to run around the last lot just one more time before you add your next one so if your tension is really loose you're going to come through this bead just like that and I would just go through with the seed bead and the barrel bead to be in position to add my next bead. But if your tension is really, really loose, then I want you to go back on yourself, back on the seed bead before. Up the barrel beads you went through before. And then so do an extra round and then come through the seed bead and the barrel beads and then you're going to add your next section so if you go through an extra time then that's just going to give extra security and it's going to give it a little it's going to make a little bit more tighter so you could do that as well if you're a loose beader I do bead quite tight normally so I tend to I, uh, for me, it's just that I have to go, go go through it once. But there's all sorts of different tricks you could do, like in, in beading. And like all of us will do different things, different ways. And like I... Just somebody needs to point something out to you. And, and it's, you know, like you go like, oh, really? Like, you know, that's really good. And like, uh, that that's... I was struggling with it and... Now you pointed out, I'm going to try it and that's really going to work. And I think that's what's beautiful, our little beady community here, that we're all different I and mean, we all try different things. It's like years ago when that lady said to me that um, put a bead on, like when you're cutting your hat pins, and if you want to cut them to the same size, then put a, a 10 millimeter bead on there and then you can cut it 
exactly the same side, then you will take the bead off and make the loop on the top. Or, for example, there's loads of different hints and tips what we can e give each other. And we do these things, they're not even thinking, but they make so much difference, they help us so much. Right, I need to add three more beads. Um, Beth, um, hi Beth, really nice to see you here. Say hi from Oklahoma. Right, and I'm just adding two more. Now, if you wanted, you would obviously go down all the way. You would be adding the size of your wrist. However, once we come back and add the crystal rondos to the side, your bracelet is going to get a tiny bit smaller. Not too much, but probably about 5%. So I would add a couple of extra barrels to the end. Oh, but this thing, your bracelet is beautiful. This, this is what we're making lovely. Um, this is what we're going to be the end resorts, but I'm going to show you how to cheat. That if you don't want to use the crystal barrels going all the way, just zoom out a little bit, the crystal barrels going all the way, then we can just make, this is going to be our middle sections, and from here, we're going to make, we're going to lengthen a clasp and the uh, other side so you can have you can make more so got that, twice as many bracelets you can make I guess um, and he's saying how's the Cyrus um, yeah they are really good I've been up the well, bit with the mill sop <laughs> I do talk to her quite regularly so she, she's good she's just really busy with TV like really really she does like 13 hours on TV every single week and when you do TV, like create and craft TV, she does, like you have to be in the studios like two hours before and then you have to fuck out afterwards. So like and then you have to drive there and then have to drive back. So one hour of TV, it's like five hours of work. So it's she, she's just doing a lot. And I think like last week or the week before she did like 13 shows. <laughs> so it's crazy. She's crazy busy. Right. I'm come right, right down on the end. So normally we would pick up a seed bead, we would pick up, we would go to the bottom from the back, pick up another seed bead, we would pick up a crystal rondel, another seed bead, go back down, a seed bead, and we were thread back to this very last little barrel here. But because I just made a little middle section with the barrels, I want to lengthen this before I add this on there. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pick up let's say it's totally a sub to you you can pick up as many seed beads as less seed beads it's really a sub to you that how many you want to add in where you want to add crystals or when you where you want to add the um the barrel beads in i'm going to add a, a few more i'm just taking a few crystals off here so i'm going to pick up let's say five crystals and then i'm going to pick up one of these crystal rondos I'm going to pick up a lighter color barrel. I'm going to pick up another little crystal rondo. I'm going to take this all the way down. And we're just going to build up. I'm going to pick up three seed beads, let's say. And then I'm going to pick up a dark, like a crystal rondo first, a darker color barrel, another crystal rondo. Now I'm just making this pattern up as I go. And that's, that's the right way. So there doesn't have to be a determined pattern for you. For this part, just go along and just make it up. And I'm going to add another lighter one in there. And probably that's kind of will be the right size for me. So I'm going to go ahead and at the end of this, I'm going to add the button on. So I'm going to take the button i'm going to go back to front the the instructions what you get with the kit is going to go through both of the both of the kinds so it's going to go through how to make this all the way down and how to extend it as well if you want to more of a just like a middle so i'm um, added my button button on now you can see these buttons are like slightly curved so definitely you want to come through from the back towards the front oh charlotte thank you so much for the stars really really appreciate it and i'm going to pick up one seed bead i'm going to pick up one crystal and another seed bead i'm going to go back down 
on my button here. I'm going to pull this up and now I'm going to pick up, let's say I pick up a couple of seed beads. I'm going to miss the two seed beads on this side and from here on onwards I'm going to go all the way down through the pattern I have picked up taking my thread back down towards my bracelet and pull it nice and tight so I want to stop right after the seed bead let's just zoom in a little bit more I want to stop right after the first seed bead maybe I should have, could have, could have get away with just four seed beads they're not five now I'm going to hold on to the crystal runner right off the bottom here and I'm going to pull on my thread and can you see that just like tightens it right up now as I'm here I'm going to pick up another four seed beads one two three four and I'm going to go back through this last barrel bead so what I did here and I'm just going to show you I'm going to put the other bracelet right next door to it so if you want to make your materials go further so can you see I use three barrel beads and for the exact same length if I went maybe from there maybe if I just adding the barrel beads straight I will use two four six eight ten twelve so you can extend your bracelet it's still gonna look really really pretty and it's gonna look like it's it's gonna look like still gonna look like the part but um, just like if you want to make your materials going further right okay from here I'm going to go and I'm going to run down on this side of the bracelet and I'm going to be adding these little crystal rondas. Let me just take a few more off my strand here. And all I'm going to be doing as I'm down on one side, I'm going to pick up. So I would, before I properly go all the way down, I would just take my thread around. I would come all the way back up, follow my thread path, then come all the way back down just to strengthen this one more. But I'm just going to go and do the decoration. I'm going to crystal bead, go through the seed bead on the side, pick up the next crystal seed bead on the side and all the way down I'm going to add crystal beads on the side. And I just made myself a little knot. I want to take a sip of my coffee. I need, I need coffee to deal with that knot. Charlotte is saying, I've missed the tutorial for the Gem Duo Stars. Have just looked and all the kits are gone apart from the black. Is there a list of materials I need anywhere so I can make some up? So Lucy, um, would you be able to just text Simon and ask him to check the stock for the Gem Duo Stars? I'm sure, like sometimes they put X amount of stock on there and that they can adjust it and they can have a look. Right, so knot is gone and we are back in business so I'm just picking up a crystal and going through the seed bead so adding that side decoration in for my bracelet uh, Charlotte saying wow and then I'm just saying don't be all I think that was for the missing the tutorial and then I could say going like I'm, I'm exactly the same I see something and I really want to order it and, and then just life takes over and a week later I remind myself oh yeah I still haven't ordered that and then a week later I remind myself that it's all gone. There was this lipstick I really wanted to buy not that probably about three three four weeks ago and I kept forgetting it but um, I'm out of stock now so never mind next time. But this we we all been there. We all, it's just we just busy with life, I guess. Right, I'm gonna run all the way down. There we go. Just like that. So once I added my last crystal on those, so I'm just gonna go through. Add the last one in here. I'm right next to my tail here, but I'm going to go past my tail. So I'm just going to pick up a crystal ronda and I'm going to go to the barrel bead. And here I'm going to repeat why I have added on this side. I'm going to repeat the pattern picking up on here, but at the end, where we added the button, I'm going to add the loop. 
So I'm going to pick up five seed beads to start with, although I do think maybe four would have worked. Eh, no, five, five works fine as well. It's personal preference. Which, which one do you like or how do you like it best? You can make all sorts of different patterns. And it doesn't mean like I could come up with my line and then I could go back and do another section like this if I wanted to do so many different things you could do. So then I need a darker crystal. Um, Lucy's saying I've messaged Simon. That's about the gem stars because with the stars we were actually were supposed to do another Facebook live with it, which is the like little diamond. And Simon just said to Lucy that they will be more stock in August. Right, so I added my three, and I'm gonna pick up, pick up a seed bead, and I need to make my loop here. Right, so when we're doing this bracelet, we know uh, like it's eight, those 18 seed beads on there. But now I have to make the loop bigger because I need to kind of like go all the way around with the seed beads. So I reckon there's about 22 seed beads to start with. So I picked up one. This is, doesn't count because we're going to come back through this crystal before we go into, uh, can come back through this seed bead before we go through those crystals. So I reckon we're going to need about 22 seed beads to go all the way around. But this is like what I said that you might need to adjust and I'm going to show you how to do that or how to have a look at it. So I'm just going to pick up 22 seed beads. 10. I've got 10. This is sometimes can be quite hard. Like I'm talking at the same time and I'm starting trying to count the beads. But I do count like in threes or I count in fives. And oops, this one just fallen off. There we go. Just double check four. Yep, and that's 12. So there we go. So the thing she will keep her eyes posted. That's for the gem duo stars. Right. So I'm gonna stitch back in this last seed bead. So towards my bracelet, but I'm not gonna go any further. And can you see I'm holding it, holding this seed bead down to my finger here, pulling it over because I want to go through this, but I want to make sure that I'm not going to sew through the thread underneath it because what I want to determine at this point that if my loop is big enough then I will hold on to my loop just between my thumb and index finger and I'm going to try in the bottom so this this is actually quite loose to be honest because like I was quite easily be able to button it in and button it out so I reckon I'm going to take it down to 19 now, sometimes seed beads can be a tiny bit, like a fraction of the millimeter smaller or a fraction of a millimeter bigger, and your number is going to differ. So that's why I always say, just pull it up. So this one goes through very, very easily. And if it goes through very easily, just think about it. It's, it's going to come undone very, very easily as well. So we do need a right size. I reckon nine, mm, this is 21, so maybe 20. Let's try 20. Because I made sure I didn't sew through that bead when I was coming through, I can literally just go back through it. Oops. Not getting your bracelet caught in the loop. And it will come undone. I'm going to take off a couple of seed beads by going back on myself and try again and adjust it. Now, if it was too small, then you're going to add a couple couple new ones in there and I'm going to do the same thing again just going to flex this bead over my finger just so I make sure that I don't stitch through the thread path it doesn't matter if you if you got the right beads on and you stitch through the thread path that's fine so again I'm going to try the button and I think this one is going to be the right size and once you have got your right size you're going to do the same thing what you did you're going to go all the way back down towards your bracelet. So I'm going to go through all of those beads. All the way back down. Any pattern you created. 
and once you get, I get down to the bracelet I'm gonna add the crystals on the other side however again what I would do before I do that I would double back to go to the first seed bead I don't want to like I always like to come out when, I, when I'm doing a loop or when I'm forking my thread off I always like to come out of the seed bead rather than the crystal because crystals are faceted so they can in theory they could have a sharper side so I'm always like want to be super secure so I do it with the seed bead right I'm going to go back through the barrel bead from the other side and can you see like our bracelet is a little bit lopsided and that's why I said when we add the crystals in it's going to pull them together now I'm going to go ahead and the crystals on this side and then it's going to pull straight so as I'm coming out of that barrel bead, pick up a crystal into the seed bead on the side. And another crystal, another seed bead. Oh, Charlotte is saying, order the barrel kit, just love this, loving this bracelet. And uh, uh, there's, there's a few Charlottes right there uh, saying as well, I love this bracelet as well. It's really, really sparkling. And it wears nice as a stack as well. I was actually wearing this one yesterday because I had a different top on. And I had another bracelet on as well. And I just had it in the stack and it was just really nice. And I went to, uh, we popped in to collect them to have my nails done. And the, the kid, kids went into the shops and they got their bits of pieces what they wanted to get. And we had like a little bit of an af afternoon out, I guess. Then we had to go to New Look with Lucy. So I was wearing this. Uh, this this was this little sterling silver is always on, and then there was another bracelet above it. And it was just a really nice stack. Um, so they do wear really nicely in a stack as well um, with, with, with other jewellery. Right, back to this side. I'm just going to go and add all of these in. Now, the more obviously you go up and over the, your clasp and your loop at the end, the stronger your bracelet going to be. But don't forget, like you can make your bracelet like this, so it goes all the way around with the barrel beads. Or if you want to make it further, you can extend it and it will look just as good. The kit will make you two bracelets. If you add the extra crystal rondels in there it will add an extra clasp as well and then you can make three bracelets out of it so an extra two pound fifty you can make an extra bracelet because you will have enough materials left of everything else and there we go i love mixing the colors as well i think they're really beautiful Victoria said the gem deals. Yeah, the gem deals will be back in order. So Simon must properly order them and they will be back in stock. Sometimes in the summer because I think of holidays and other, well, I don't know at the moment because at the moment we are living president in times and everything is sort of out of out of whack as they say. But um, usually in the summer holidays, in especially in like sort of July time, all the factories and uh, wholesalers and everybody else is like having their holidays so sometimes it's harder to get materials and especially certain colors oh victor is saying every time i saw this i can't afford it don't need any more beads and you produce another great idea and then i want a free postage so 30 pounds later oh i'm exactly the same when i when i like you know with, with everything right i'm going back up and then i'm going to go through this barrel bead just like that so can you see now we added the barrel bead the crystal beads on this side of the barrel beads as well so our bracelet becomes nice and straight now i'm going to go over and i'm going to go up and over in my clasp one more time so this would have been the third time oh, it's a second I just didn't want to take 
extra time with it but I do love reinforcing this because this is what you're going to tug on the most the button so I'm just going up and over the, there is instructions in the kit so the, the, it comes with full instructions and it will show you both of this it will show you how to do this and it will show you how to do just the straight ones as well it will show you both different ways how to do it like when you're wearing it to be honest really if you have if you do this version what we just did here in the live it's great to do because like you you do make your materials go further and I'm just gonna go back down and then all is left to do for this one is just sew the thread off once I got back down with a one thread or half inch knot I call it one thread knot properly half inch knot is the proper name for it and that's how Sarah calls it. I'm going to go all the way down. And there we go. And into our seed bead. Now, if I wanted to, I could run all the way down on one side of the bracelet and then all the way back up. It's really a up to you. Like the more you go through, the more robust your jewelry is going to be. So one thread knot. Let me just go through a few crystals and seed beads here. I'm not quite at the end. What's going on with your thread this morning? There we go. Right, so I want to catch the thread path in between two beads there. So I'm just going to stitch under that bead. I haven't gone through any of the beads I just stitched under that bead there. As, as I'm pulling this through, you can see there's a little loop is forming with my thread. Now, before this loop disappears, I'm going to take my needle through this loop. And when I'm pulling this up nice and tight, can you see? Then that formed a little knot and then just pop between those two beads. Then I'm going to take my needle through the next few beads and I'm going to repeat the process one more time. I like to add for about two or three knots. There we go. To make your bracelet really secure and pull it up nice and tight and again I'm going to take it through the next few beads and I'm ready to trim the end there we go it's such a magpie bracelet isn't it I just love it it's so so sparkly now I will do the same for the tail later on but I'm just going to leave that for a sec so I can show you that, um, yeah, it's just a tiny bit too small for me. So I probably should have added one, a, little, a few more seed beads or an extra barrel bead. But can you see, like, it will cover the front of my wrist and it will be still really, really beautiful, like, all the way around. But you don't need to, so if I was, if I had the plan to wear this in a stacking jewelry, then I would probably make it just like this to make my materials go further. If I want to, I can still wear this in a stack, but if I, my goal was mainly to wear this on its own, then I would make it the barrels all the way down. Like just, i just give it as much sparkle I can give it to you. Shorty saying thank you for this kitty. Have enjoyed watching you off to make much needed coffee. Have a lovely day everyone. Hope to, to make a live on Friday. So on Friday, you have got to do Natalie with you. I'm so, so excited that she came on board and she's going to start doing lives with us. She's going to do more um, home decor pieces as well. Um, I really do love, um, see, she's such, such, such a lovely lady. Um, she might be in the, in the chat actually listening, but um, we are really, really lucky to have her. Right, so don't forget, one kit will make you and, and I used the leftovers so technically I made I, I still got crystals left over so if I had an extra button or an extra clasp and I still got plenty of seed beads left over from the kit so I made two full bracelets I added I would have added the extra crystals and the extra button into my basket an extra 250 and look I still got I even got more seed beads here and I still got 
more than half a strand of this crystal is left because of the extras so I definitely got enough enough to make another one or two of these bracelets as well just just have to have your own clasp on the end of it so Natalie is going to be doing a universe bracelet on Friday using uh, those galaxy sort of cabochons they are they are really really beautiful and she's going to be playing with around with that one so do tune in for that one as well otherwise Saturday is open day so <laughs> if you live near us and you can uh, come oh Charlotte thank you so much for the stars really really appreciate it so if you live anywhere near us and that you are able to come on our open day or even if you live a little bit further but you would like a day out um, to the seaside then do come down, come just like, you know, just tell the kids, like, we're going to the seaside, and like, just, mommy just needs to pop in here for five minutes, hint, hint, we've got tea and coffee going outside, and biscuits, so we'll, we'll keep, we'll keep them, keep them entertained, and we'll put like a little table outside as well, so do come along, because it's always so much fun meeting so many lovely people, um, it, it's just gonna be really great, I'm really looking forward to it, it's like, you know, when you were a teenager, I, I don't know, like, you know, when, when I was when I was a teenager and we used to go out with our friends, like, we used to plan on Sunday what we're going to wear, like, next Saturday to a party. And, and for me, like, the open day is the party now that, like, I'm planning what am I going to do for the, for the open day because I'm really looking forward to meet people as well. I'm just going to pop these back in shot for you so you can see it. I really do 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 love them very very sparkly like even just a little bit of a movement look how sparkly is that really just they're just really really beautiful beads my husband said more like five hours well like overnight stay obviously like you know there is premier in there is travel lodge there is there's loads in collecting to do we got a beautiful pier with loads of amusement we got plenty of caravan sites like if you're into that sort of thing got so so much around here i'm looking where is the other bracelet which is goes this with color I and mean, i'm just looking at my table where did i put it where did i put it and it's on my hand because i was wearing it i think i need my coffee with this thing they look amazing and just the tiniest little movement you know i'm just moving the cloth like up and down a little bit here at the bottom and the tiniest little movement how sparkly they are let's put my hand underneath it they're really really sparkly very nice one do 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 make one right my lovelies have a beautiful day so saturday open day uh, Friday Natalie, Saturday open day, Sunday I'll be back on my channel at 7 p.m. I will be in a chat on Friday anyway, but Sunday night 7 p.m. just to like the weekly chat. And don't forget next week is creation station. And let me just see. I'm sure they already added the because I'm working for more like especially now that the yes they added it. Let me just very very quickly show you because they do look the beads are choosing actually i've got the beads somewhere here as well but let me show you on the website so creation station that is oh, that, that's you don't want to see my diary what you want to see is the website of creation station so um this one we we decided like it started in june like we add we did a little bit of a we did a bundle for that month and when it's the month the but the price of the bundle is going to go down and after that it's going to go back up to the normal price because simon given us like a really good discount on this one and both of the sessions the creation stations are there and i'm just going to start this i'm going to have to mute me that and stuff and it shows you a lot what we've been playing around in that um, creation station so that's what we did in june and then in july we had another session and i'm going to pop into july and we are working with different beads actually we need to embed the um, and and the blue actually is, is sold that now and we can't get any more stock of these ones because of the dragonfly beads we don't have any more but we have created like this beautiful uh, beam in this session so this is the 
one when we did like little dragonflies and little bits of pieces but that was all from the bundle and from there this is what's going to happen in august we got uh, two very beautiful bundles again um we're using the new crystal saddle beads they are um they they haven't seen the light of day in totally beads yet although I'm, i will ask them to I don't know if Simon will have or, or when we, they're going to add it to the website. But they are brand new beads. We're going to be working in August and that's going to be next week on Saturday. So that's Saturday the 7th. We're going to be working. I, I usually try to do two sessions a month. So one session I would be working like with the earth. And the second session I would be working with the sky. But it's kind of like a mystery bundle. But um, it, you know it's going to be really good. The The Birth of the bundle is £30, £29.99, and Simon gives us an amazing discount on it to take it down to £19.99. But in September, the price of the bundle will go back up to £30. So that's it. Check that one out because that's next weekend. So the reason I'm telling you now that you can get your kit now and then um, you can beat along with me on Saturday night. We start at 7 p.m. That's on my channel, which is Kids Robinson Designs on um, YouTube. Be limited to one, just YouTube, because sometimes um, in the past we had problems, like the comments coming in from different places. So we just do it on YouTube, but we beat together. We start at 7 p.m. I draw the line at 10 p.m., but um, usually I say, oh, well, we beat for a couple of hours, but we never finished before 10, did we? Um, it's just it's really nice to have like a, a spend an evening together. So that's not this Saturday. This Saturday is open day. That will be next Saturday. Get your kids in for that one. Right, my lovelies. Have a beautiful day, everybody. And um, I'll see you very, very soon. i got so much things in I need to do this week. I um, need to record some videos and some quick tutorials and all sorts of different different fun bits have everybody have a beautiful week uh, if you are in the beat club i see you in the beat club tomorrow we are doing and i'm just going to very quickly show you this one before i go i was like almost like go but i need to show you this one this is what we're doing in the beat club tomorrow so this is tomorrow and on friday as well we're working with acorn speeds arco speeds i always want to say acorns but they're not acorns they're arco speeds but it's a it's a running joke between me and Simon because I always call them acorns and they're not acorns they're arcus beads. But it's the way how you remember things. I think it's that the human brain is a marvel. But this is what we're doing tomorrow and Friday. So if you are not in a beat club, then do check the beat club out beatclub.co.uk and Lucy just added the link. So in the beat club, we do work with that way. <laughs> I always I always miss my size up. It's we do it on Zoom, so you can come in and. But it's not just on computer, Zoom works on all sorts of different devices, phones and tablets as well. And just join in. There's a really nice bunch of ladies just beating together, just having fun. Right, my lovelies, take care, have a very good week and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.